Welcome back guys to the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask in the Ocean Temple. The day is about to change because I've been going through the past videos of this temple so far to kind of figure out where I've missed a fairy. Because I'm sure I've missed some fairies somewhere. So now I know the location, or at least the room where there should be another fairy. And that's back from whence we came more or less. Down here I'd imagine the path in which we came into that section of rooms where the boss key is we still didn't pick out yet another fairy so we have to find that so let's wait here until we can grab ourselves upwards and give it a look around because I'm pretty sure looking at footage I did not pick up a fairy in this room dawn of the second day 48 hours remain probably more than enough to finish this temple but finding these these fairies is not exactly easy so we smashed the jars down there, we've done that area, we've killed the enemies, so we know it's not them. We haven't killed those hands before, so let's kill the hands. I guess that works in my mind. Hopefully we should be able to fire arrows at them from above. Where are you guys? It's a good question, where exactly is their location? We don't want to get sucked away by the current. Check the other side. They are directly on and they're there. Okay. No hand. Seems that arrows aren't exactly the thing we want to use on those. It's not falling by accident here. But we did get one. I didn't hear a fairy noise come out, that's for sure. There's a jar in between them though. Red rupees as well. Can I hit you? This is problematic. The fairy's got to have something to do with maybe this. I don't think... Oh no! Ah! Oh, fairy! Ugh. Um, Don't get sucked away fairy! Come to me! Good! Great! Now that we've got that done and out of the way, that room's cleared, let's check this room. So surely with the water flow going the other way, we can head out this way now. That'd be a nice way to do things. And that should bring us back to this chamber. Excuse me, hands. Back round to the central room. Oh, I nearly got up. Which then brings us into yet more puzzle land. Uh, go, 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 go. Oh, I missed it. Grab that one. That's cool. We can't head up this side. Ah! Let's head into the central chamber and find out where we're going from there. Oh, really? I guess I shouldn't swim. I guess I should just paddle until I reach the other side again. There we go. Now this is going to be the sideways part, not the part I actually want, which it is actually the sideways part, but we can just jump around onto the walkway and get ourselves around. There's a fairy in here still. That's one of our main problems as well. Keep coming through this area, I'm not getting it. So there's a jar at the very bottom in the center. Maybe I can just shoot with an arrow from here, actually, thinking about it. It worked last time. Well, I can never seem to reach. And that's where it is. It should be coming to us anyway because we've got the fairy mask on. Thank you, memory. Thank you indeed. I kept zipping around it when we were at the bottom, so it was a very obvious landmark place. Fairy must be coming to me at some point. I'm high, fairy. Right, time to get on this moving platforms, maybe. If I can reach. Although I can even get to the edge very fast here. We don't want to climb up because we can't get up from this side. Okay, that's the end. This is a bit of the ladder and we want to climb up here. If you can keep track of that kind of thing when you're being sucked around a whirlpool. So I'm glad we got those fairies now from the rooms we've previously been in. Now it's time for us to head off into climates we haven't been yet. 
An idea that came to me is if we can freeze loads of and unfreeze loads of water spouts. Can't we just do it to this one? Isn't that just a way for us to get it out of our way? It's coming from above, so no matter what, it's just going to freeze and enable us access to the ladder, surely. Thank you, thank you! Lovely jubbly, let's hope for more fairies further in. Let's go, let's go, let's go! There are more fairies inside there, and also annoying enemies. Tattle wants to say something. Maybe she's saying something about the enemy? Or no, she's not telling me about using it as a platform then. I just want rid of you, to be honest. I'd prefer you gone. We have a big fish. I had to bet on anything I'd say that the big fish is our target for fairy extermination. So he's electric of his own accord. In fact, he doesn't seem to want to let us near him anymore. There's a treasure chest in his room as well. How do I kill you now you're electrocuted? You may hate it. Okay, we can still kill it when it's electrocuted. As long as we stay still, let it come to us. Dead fish doesn't dissolve. Dead fish doesn't give us fairies. That's for sure. Right. There's a chest to pick up, but there's also jars in the room. We don't know where our fairy will be hiding. And his chest looks to be up on high. Fairy fairies! Where are you? We like to end this with a clean slate, as it were. No fairies in the jars then, it seems. Lots of magic and the whatnot. It looks like we're using the ice arrows yet again to get around. There is one more enemy in the room, however, so maybe that will have our fairy friend in. It looks like we need to turn on the green switches. And we can just hook shot over to the yellow side, so that's not a problem. And we'll go from there to get over. And mind you, there's a whole area upwards if you look. Hook shot targets as well. Maybe that's the best way over there. I don't think that is low enough for us to make a normal simple jump over it. Don't know what you think, but that looks like it to me. Excuse me, guy, can you uh, bog off? You have to use that normal arrows for a second to get rid of you. Jump again. You gave me five rupees, but nothing more than that. So we need to make ourselves a place where we can get to the hookshot target up there. Why'd you have to dive, Link? That was a terrible thing to do. Okay, get low enough that I can climb up. Need to make ourselves a new platform really fast here. Because this platform probably doesn't have much in it. Apart from that, we can't get it from this angle yet. Next. We need to get slightly up. We need to get even further. Uh oh. Say problematic. Ah! Not enough time I had. I have to make it sure it's nearest to the wall as it can be originally. That was irritating. Ah! Ah! I seem to have made myself devoid of roots over as well. Ah! 101 bad ideas by Olazandri. Don't remove your only way of getting over just in the look for stray fairies. It often doesn't end up too well. We know there's no stray fairies anywhere anymore, so... We need to get rid of you again, sir. 
can you turn you into a frozen block, I guess. Well, that really helps me that much. I want rid of you. You're telling me I can't hit you from here. And all I can do is drag it towards me. I'm going to have to use normal arrows again. No, I'm just firing them into the edge. There we go. Die. Blooming ice arrows. Nothing works as I want it to. Alright, let's start our trip over. In the nicest possible fashion. Now we need to make sure this one is as near to the wall as we can get it. Which did not work that time, that's for sure. Seems that that's as close as we can get. There we go. It's a little bit closer. We can actually reach it this time. Great. Stop making melting sounds. It makes me incredibly insecure. Alright, we got red rupees all around. A chest as well. No mysterious baddies. One fairy to our collection though. This is your 13th fairy. Right. Does that mean that this room's cleared, however? Yes, it does. Great. Now we just head back down this way, or is that how we get to this switch? Hmm, problematic again. I'm not sure if we can drop there, that's for sure. Unless we jump right from the edge, of course, which worked perfectly. So grab one, pull forward. Get it moving, right. So we're starting up the green pump. Let's head back out of here, even though we got enemies waiting for us. No, don't eat me, please. And don't jump on me, spider guys. I'm climbing up. You all provided a good roll. Right, you all got out of my way. That's how I like to see things happen. And we got ourselves... Okay, we've got to follow the green pump. Which is going to lead us downwards. Dive! I just dive normally. We'll just get sucked down. That's fine by me. Right, so which way are we going? Okay, the green one there is working. The other green one's working. We go for the lowest place. This one here. Oh, if we could get in. We don't want to head in there. We just want to head in the green place. Yes, that's it. Suck me in. Cool. Now where on earth are we? There's lots of jars that way after a quick scan of the room. Fairies? Oh, there's a fairy right there. Hi, fairy. Uh, mind if I get you out? That was a horrific miss. Oh, maybe the best way to do this is just to pop it by running through it. This isn't working too well. There we go. Pop. The main question is how to get hold of you otherwise. I can't put on the fairy mask underwater. Well, surely if I just get up on high and then just use the fairy mask, it will come towards me anyway. If it's not getting sucked away by the water cone, there is one it seems. So we need to head up on the- Ooh, there's a bubble! I see you. I can't exactly aim. It looks like you're right at the edge of my aim, which isn't good. Head up on the green pipe. He says, well, uh, mysteriously, why don't I just hit you with my own head? That could work too. Oh, you're above the water. How irritating, sir. Right. Let's take this mask off. Put on our fairy mask. Pull the other one towards us. 
which is working. And then try to find a way to view the other bubble. Yeah, that, that's problematic. Oh, I can see through, could. And that brings us yet another fairy. You found all the stray fairies. Quick tone to their fellow fairies of the same color. We know where that is, of course, because we visited that location. It seems we have one last puzzle in order to get through over to the boss room. Oh, pull it, pull it, pull it. Fifteen fairies is always a good number to have. I wonder where that extra pathway goes, to be honest. It seems that the final puzzle has been done. Uh, I'm missing. I'm kind of missing very slightly. Okay, I kind of missed. I don't know if I can climb up or anything. It doesn't look like I can. I'm stuck on it. Oh, there we go. Well, that sucks. It seems that because I did the jump roll, I had way too much speed and launched myself off way too fast. Up and around. Let's get over when it goes low yet again. Normal jump this time. Normal jump's best. There we go. Right central. It's even designed to be done that way, but we stand in front of the boss door at last with water dripping on us from above. I'm not going to engage this episode, guys. I'm going to end a little bit early, in fact. Because this boss will probably take me a fair whack of time with all the cutscenes and all that that come afterwards. So we'll engage in that next episode. Thank you for watching this episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, where it secured all the fairies, completed all the puzzles, and got through to the end. So join me tomorrow for a boss battle extraordinaire. Bye-bye.